So can you share with our audience some of your past failures, so either individual and company failures, and how those failures helped you to shape your life and guide your current decision, business and personal, personal decisions? Well, listen, I failed miserably at, be, at being a, a, a rock guitar player because that was my real aspiration in life was to be Joe Perry of Aerosmith. Um, uh, failing in that endeavor, however, um, I was not a great student either. Uh, because of my creative aspirations as a teen, uh, I was a really, really bad student and it almost cost me a lot of opportunity. Uh, fortunately, I, I managed to work that out 11th hour and wound up in college and, and went on my way. But first and foremost, I was a miserable failure as a student and really didn't prepare myself for any kind of, of a metrics for success going forward. College, I was again sort of a very average student because I was juggling full-time work in school and missed a lot of opportunities to learn my first pass, which I wish I'd had an opportunity to take advantage of. So I, I think those two, uh, educationally, I was not a great academic, suffice to say. Um, but I was fortunate enough to really find a fabulous job right out of school. One of my most successful uh, quests was despite poor grades, despite not having had the luxury to take on an internship, I literally stormed my way through the door and just persisted to a point that I ended up getting this job that was available at the Wall Street Journal, which sort of launched my career. Um, so again, sort of in this scenario, persistence made up for a lot of my academic shortcomings and I was able to whitewash my failures, I guess, uh, previously with that first job. But listen, I had lots of failures along the way. I was uh, one of the first people to start selling computers in the early days of the PC era. Um, I lived down the hall from Michael Dell mm -hmm. and, and knew a little bit about Dell Computer and thought maybe I could do something similar and, and literally used to have a collection of, of uh, kids that would go out at six o'clock in the evening at dinner time and ring doorbells and try to sell computers door to door when I was very early on the home market. Now I sold a lot of computers but the model itself was doomed to fail, completely unscalable and, uh, and a, a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so I had plenty of startups that, uh, that didn't exactly take me to pots of gold. Actually I, I guess it is worth footnoting I did sell that business for a decent amount of money as a, at a young, as a young 20 something. So I was, I was on the right path, just the wrong execution. But I've had a, a host of, of failed entities, startups. I raised roughly $20 million to do a rich media startup on the heels of, of broadcast.com. Being a big fan of Mark Cuban's, I thought I had a smarter, better a method. And I think uh, history has shown who had the smarter, better method. So I had plenty of the failures during my startup reign. But each and every one of them led to some eventual success. And even if it didn't l have a linear connection to some positive outcome, I learned something through the process that brought me full circle. And so, you know, to be honest with you, Russell, I don't really look at those as failures. You know, it's, it's so easy to, to look at a scorecard and judge which of them were your failures and which one your successes. Ultimately, and maybe I'm just singing Pollyanna, but ultimately they all prove to be uh, worthwhile endeavors. Um, I'm much more acute to probably some of my failures in leadership, you know, along the way. And a lot of that's just a natural, you know, curve of maturation, but uh, lots of mistakes. So easy today in hindsight to talk about character leadership and inspired leadership and the, the uh, benefits of delegation. Those were not innate qualities, uh, at least on uh, the delegation front and sometimes on the inspiration front. Uh, but rather skills learned. So I, I would say my path is littered with both, but I prefer to look at those failures themselves as simply shortcuts to some better outcome somewhere else.